What would you do if you had a cheap big box store leaf blower that did not start and when you tried doing a compression test to see if it was worn out, you got this result. With the reading this low, most sane owners would put it on the curb so someone else could fix it because, to be honest, most repair shops wouldn't even touch it. However, I'm not a shop, just a guy with too much time on his hands and a bag of tools. So I'm going to tear this blower apart so I can at least find out why it won't start and then see if I can fix it and hopefully I can do it without paying for any new parts.